Hello and welcome to this video of the course Answer Set Solving in Practice. My name is Javier Romero and here we are going to do this exercise on simple solving of the computational aspects part of the course. Now, in this exercise, we have to determine the stable models of the following normal logic programs. And we have different logic programs that you can see here. And for each of these, we have to use the simplistic solving algorithm of the lecture. And we have to specify the sets L and U that are generated at each iteration inside this expand P procedure. Okay, so before we start doing the exercise, as usual, let's go quickly to see what the slides are relevant for this exercise. So here we have this one, where we have the description of the simplistic solving algorithm that it's called, where the input is a set of uh, a lower bound and an upper bound that we initially set to, to the empty set, the lower bound, and to the set of all atoms that belong to the program, the upper bound. And then this is the algorithm. Here we have this call to this function expand. And here it's how it goes. And here we have this choose step where we, in a way, reason by cases by calling here solve P making A true. And here we call it making A false or saying that A is not possible anymore. Right, so let's go quickly to see the other slide where this expand of P is specified and it's in this slide. And then you also have here one example where basically this example does exactly what we are doing in the exercise. So the input is a logic program P and uh, the slides show how to solve the exercise for this logic program P. Well, first here, um, we run this expand algorithm. And then here, we expand with D, making D true. So here we make D true, and then we call expand again until we find the stable model ABD. And then here, we have this other part where we expand with node D and to expand with node D, we delete it from the set of possible atoms. And then we call expand until we get to the stable model AB. Good. Okay. So this was this quick review. So I suggest that if you have not studied this part, then you go to study the slides and to watch also the videos by Tosting. And then you start with the exercise. That is what we are going to do now. Ciao.